Hi everyone, this is Jason from BackpackFlyFishing.com and this is the go-to midge. And I call it the go-to midge because it's probably the number one midge pattern I reach for when there's a midge hatch. Very simple to tie, as you can see it's a Palomino style midge. And one of the things that makes this a little bit different is the body. I'll talk about the body material in a minute here. And then also the type of hook I use. Normally people use a curved hook like a, a TMC2457 or something like that. However, I use a TMC2488, and it's a very short shank hook, and the reason I like that better for this style of fly is because, as you notice, the thorax is pretty thick, and if you've got a curved hook, that tends to kind of close the gap of the hook a little bit. But it, with this kind of hook, you've got a very short shank, meaning more of the body is off the hook, so it's a little bit more realistic looking, plus it doesn't interfere with the gap of the hook. So, let's go ahead and see how to tie one. Once you get your thread started, the first step is to construct the body. Now, I like to use Ultra Chenille Micro from Hairline, just because it's a little bit denser than some of the things other people use, like uh, Magic Dub or Easy Dub. You can see this is pretty coarse, doesn't look much like an insect body to me. This is a little bit better, especially once you burn it. So, the first step is to take a length and really quickly just touch a lighter to it. And what's that, what that's going to do is make a really nice, finely tapered body to it, very sleek, looks like a real insect. And uh, if you want, you can even put kind of like a little crimp into it to make it look like it's moving. And this does move a little bit in the water. So um, I just think that makes it look a little bit more realistic. So let's go ahead and attach that to the body. It should extend about two thirds of the way off the shank of the hook. Wrap that down a few times and then cut off the excess. Now go ahead and attach a length of polypropylene yarn. This is going to be folded over toward the eye of the hook, so you want to wrap it back right to the point where you ended the tie-in for the body, and then cut off the excess in the front. And now we're ready to add the thorax. For the thorax, I like to use Ice Dub in the olive brown color. You could use Peacock Curl, but this synthetic dubbing almost kind of has the same translucent uh, effect, but it also gives you a little bit more action in the water. You get a bunch of little spikes to come off it that look like things like legs or uh, some kind of uh, emergence. So it's a little bit more animated than just regular peacock curls. So go ahead and dub that in. Okay, brush back all your fibers so you have a clean eye when you're done. Then just fold over the polypropylene yarn and make a few turns over that. Then pull it back and wrap a little bit in front of the eye so that it sticks up a little bit. And then whip finish. Cut off the excess and you're pretty much done. Okay, so that's how to tie the go-to midge. For a complete list of all the materials used, uh, visit my blog at backpackflyfishing.com.